Adventures. I am Miss Charlotte here with Kira and, and Selena and we are so glad you guys could join us here today for another fun craft that we have for you. So if you haven't already go ahead and hit subscribe down below so that you're sure to not miss out on any of our fun adventures or crafts. Uh, Alana would you like to show our friends what we're going to be working on today? Can you tell them what it is? Salt painting. A salt painting. Yeah this is one of my favorite crafts anyway because it's so simple and I usually always have the supplies you okay yeah and I usually always have the supplies laying around my house Kira do you want to go ahead and share with our friends the different supplies that we're going to be needing construction paper water paint glue uh, show our friends and salt. what are we gonna need Selena glue glue and salt, and salt. yes and then, uh, and two glues. Yep, we have a glue bottle for each of them. So if you guys want to go ahead and gather your supplies, you can pause the video, gather your supplies, and then meet back here uh, when you're ready. We've already gathered our supplies, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We also have these handy dandy baking trays that we use to, <laughs> to put our pictures on just to help contain the mess. Salt can be rather messy when you're just dumping it onto a picture, so the baking tray will help contain that a little bit. Hey. So you're gonna grab a glue bottle and you can draw a picture on your paper. Uh, I chose to draw fireworks because it's summer and fireworks in summer just seem to go together. Yeah. So you can draw whatever you want. Draw. You have your whole paper to draw anything you want with glue. What are you drawing over here, Kira? A house with a flower. A house with a flower. How about you? What are you drawing, Alana? I'm drawing a smiley face. A smiley face. Now I'm putting glue on my face. <laughs> You're putting glue on your face? So this is what we have so far. We have, oh, it's gonna start to drip, so I don't wanna hold it up too much. So your next step, you guys are gonna just go ahead and take the salt, sprinkle it all over your um, painting. Oh Selena, we oh will boy. pinch it. Oh boy. Oh boy. And you can go ahead and sprinkle it all over your picture. <laughs> all right, that looks like enough. I think you've got enough there. So once you have the glue, the salt on, you can also pick your paper up and shake it around. Try to keep it over the tray. Yeah, let the, let the salt fall around. You definitely want to be generous with your salt. You want it to completely cover the glue. It'll just look a much... It'll give it a much cooler effect when you start painting. All right, once you finish putting salt on, you can go ahead and shake off all the extra salt. And then we will move on to the next step, which is the watercolors. Yay! Yay! We get to paint. Now you get to paint. So you guys can go ahead and grab your watercolor. <laughs> I already have And water open it up. Mine. And what I like to do to make it easy is I use a little dropper. Can I do it? And I just go along and plop a few drops in each color. Once you finish waking up your colors, you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're going to mix up a color. We'll start with yellow here. And you are, you're not going to paint like what you're used to painting. You're gonna put a lot of color on your paintbrush and you're just going to very gently tip, very gently touch the top of your salt painting and the color will just absorb and spread through the salt. So you're just gonna, very gently, you're not gonna paint, you're just gonna, almost like letting the water droplets just drop onto the, the salt. So you guys can go ahead and get started. Yeah, just like that. And then if you wanna change your color, I have some water over here. All right, we just we just finished our paintings. So do you guys want to show our friends what you painted here? All right, these are our beautiful paintings. Uh, we would love to see what you guys painted as you joined along with us. Um, so if you want to grab the grown-ups with you, you can go ahead and have them take a picture. And then if you want, feel free to tag us on Instagram or Facebook so that we can see your beautiful drawings, your beautiful creation. Thanks for joining us for another adventure here at Tiny Town. We hope you guys had a wonderful time. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.